is it something you report to your teachers and things like that? Yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> it's something I definitely report to my teachers and let them deal with it because I think that's the best way to handle it. Um, being a kid, you know, uh, you can sort of get yourself in trouble if you're the one trying to deal with all, all the, the abuse you might be getting. Um, and I know I'm not, I'm not perfect. I know I sometimes got aggressive in, in school and uh, it just led to my own downfall, really. And so I just encourage kids to just let hierarchy deal with it um, and just stay out of it. And did your school deal with it well? Yeah, it did really well. Um, a lot of kids got into a lot of trouble um, when, I was, when I was abused and uh, I think they dealt with it um, in a professional manner. You've also, moving on, you've had this uh, abuse on Twitter. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction when you got that? Uh, just surprised, really. Um, I just, uh, obviously I reported to Newcastle um, and let, just let them deal with it. And, uh, obviously I think the police got involved and I see the, the kids were obviously punished and uh, again, I just didn't want to get involved, let them deal with it. That's the way I did it. Okay. Um, in terms of, of, of a football match, have you encountered it with a football match playing either at a, a school level or right through to playing for the England under 21s? Not up to the level I am now, but maybe I think when I was a when I was younger playing football, uh, I did get a, a bit of abuse um, on the pitch when I was playing for my uh, Walker Central, my boys' club. Do you think there's pretty progress made within the game? Yeah, of course. I mean, look at where we've come um, over the years. Um, now, how how seriously people are dealt with when they when they are racially, are racially abused when they racially abuse others, um, as you can see in the. In the past few years, so I think we're really making strides, and uh, hopefully we can continue to and uh, end up kicking and racing them out of football. Uh, the way it was dealt with then compared to now, um, you can tell it's a, it's a lot much, a lot more serious, um, and they deal with it in a more um, urgent, urgent fashion nowadays. Um, so it's great to see that happening and uh, racism being kicked out of football. Hopefully we can do so. Also, the, the people shouldn't be picked on because of their religious belief in the same way as the cop. No, no, it's, yeah, I think it's the same. It's, it's, it's another form of racism, isn't it? Um, picking because of what you believe in. Um, and I think, obviously, I, I play a lot, of, a lot of the lads here are Muslim, and uh, it's something that you don't want to feel abused about. Um, so I think it's, it's just pretty much the same thing, um, racism in any, any shape or form. Um, so. The more we kick, the more we kick. Uh, obviously, our race, normal racism out there, and we can help with that. That, that will help as well. Uh, and you now you said that there's about 16 different nationalities playing, um, playing here. So it's good that we can all come together um, and fight it as one. I mean, because they're all just as serious as each other. I mean, it's not just about being racially abused as a black person. I mean, for anything you believe in, as, as you said, in religion, I think it's massive that we we kick any abuse that come to that as well. Show racism, the red card. <laughs>